Hello, Mr. K here again. We're going to continue our uh, street survival series. And today we're going to talk about, let's see if I can get it to pop up here, leaks and fluids. All right, so uh, hopefully by the end of this, you'll be able to determine which leaks are serious and which are not and help identify some of those leaks and learn a little, bit about, a little bit about checking fluid levels. All right, so go ahead and pause this video now and watch this Scotty Kilner video of how to identify uh, fluid leaks. Okay, you should just watch that video. Let's move on. So just a little trick, uh, if you're trying to identify fluid leaks that are on your garage floor or in a parking lot, use a white piece of paper, white tissue, white rag, lay that down, that'll help you get the color. And of course, smell it, but um, just be careful because you know in a garage setting, uh, there could be a lot of things on the floor and you don't necessarily wanna go touching it or put your nose right up to it if it's muriatic acid, for example, or uh, paint remover or that type of thing. So just kind of be aware of that. All right, plain water. It is normal to see uh, plain water just collecting under a car, especially on humid or hot days if your air conditioning's on. Uh, it should smell and feel just like water. It should be, uh, you know, as, as far as you can tell, it should just be water. And it's typically going to leak from the passenger area of the vehicle or maybe like the dat right under the dashboard type area. Not nothing to worry about, just means your AC is working. It just has to do with the way air conditioning works, which we'll talk about in another uh, another series. Brake fluid. Okay, it's going to look just like water, but it's going to feel oily if you if you grab it between your fingers. Uh, it's going to have a little bit of a chemical smell. And it could be leaking from anywhere. If you have a leak of brake fluid, you've got a, a big problem that you need to rectify. Uh, it's probably a blown line like you see in that photo. Check the fluid level and get that fixed immediately. All right, engine oil. So it's going to look kind of like maple syrup. Um, it feels like it. It won't really be sticky, but um, it'll be the kind of the thickness of it. Uh, probably a little bit stinky, might smell like gas. I say if it's about a quarter size or less, just keep an eye on it. Probably not a huge concern, it's semi-normal. Um, but you know, if it gets up to be about the size of a pancake, small pancake, uh, or like the size of a lid um, cap, a gas cap for your car, I'd start worrying. And you really just you should have that looked into or try to figure out if you can help that leak a little bit. But remember, they are normal on high mileage vehicles. Um, my my truck is a 1982. It leaks oil. It it has quarter size spots that hit the concrete every time I park it on concrete. Uh, it's normal. Okay, antifreeze or coolant. A lot of different kinds. Um, could be almost any color of the rainbow. So I don't really want to give you a color, a specific color, but it's going to feel oily and it's gonna smell sweet. That's the telltale sign. So actually is why it can be dangerous to leave an, uh, antifreeze out in a pan. If you change an antifreeze on your vehicle and you leave it out, um, animals can come in and drink it. Dogs or cats may drink it because it smells sweet and it even tastes sweet or so I hear. Uh, so don't leave that out. And you really shouldn't be leaking antifreeze at all. If you have a small coolant leak uh, on a high mileage vehicle, I'm going to bet that it is a weep hole in a water pump. That is a big problem because if, if it is, if a water pump is weeping from that hole, that means uh, fluid has gotten past a seal, it's collecting in the bearings, and you are going to seize up the bearings and um, the water pump will come apart. So of course, check fluid level, figure out where the leak is, uh, replace that, fix it. Transmission fluid. Okay, again, feels and looks like oil, uh, typically red. 
may smell a little bit burnt. Uh, by the way, that picture you see is brand new transmission fluid. We'll show you in the next slide some used stuff. But yeah, it may smell a little bit burnt, kind of like a, I don't know, like a campfire mixed with oil type smell. Uh, again, I'm going to say maybe a dime size spot is normal. Quarter size spot or more, I would start looking into it. Um, but again, small transmission leaks are normal in high mileage vehicles. Okay, so the far right is going to be your new fluid that you saw being poured in previous slide. And then um, here's some colors of, of course, transmissions that had terrible fluid and maybe some that just had used fluid. So it can look a lot like motor oil. Uh, that's where your sense of smell comes in because you may not, you know, you, you find this in the parking lot of the garage floor, you may think that's motor oil, but if it smells a little bit burnt, um, that's when you know it's not oil and it won't smell gassy either. Our steering fluid is going to look, feel like oil, but it's uh, often red. It could be clear as well. Sometimes it even uses automatic transmission fluid. And this really shouldn't drip or leak. I mean, it happens, but it really shouldn't be a major issue. Uh, if it is leaking, you, you did need to look into that and get that fixed. But again, tiny leaks, as in, um, you know, car sits for weeks and you have a dime sized uh dime sized spot on the on the garage floor or maybe i'll say even car sits overnight and you have a dime sized spot that'd be my limit if it's any bigger than that i would really start looking at that power steering system okay gear oil or differential fluid or axle oil whatever you want to call it goes in your rear axle in the differential in the pig whatever you want to call it uh, goes in some manual transmissions as well, but typically just rear axles and front axles if it's four-wheel drive. It's going to look like oil, but it's going to smell nasty. Uh, this stuff, gets in, if you get this on your clothes, you might as well throw the clothes away. You cannot wash it out. Just a harsh, harsh smelling oil. Uh, it's going to be more like honey consistency. And they really shouldn't leak, really shouldn't drip. I mean, they, they may be tiny, tiny leaks uh, around the seal that seals up, um, the gasket that seals this differential. And I, I mean, enough to make the bottom of this moist, but it really shouldn't be dripping on the ground. And uh, if it's, and it may be in the middle of the car, if it's the, if it's leaking from the, um, on, excuse me, a manual transmission or in the rear of the car, uh, if it's leaking from the rear axle, I'm going to say typically in the rear of the car. And again, when I say tiny leaks, I mean just uh, one leak every every so often, uh, or just moist on the bottom of that differential. Okay, here's a good video on refilling your and checking your car's fluids. So go ahead and watch that at this time. Okay, you should have just watch that this time. Uh, jump on and do your written assignment and have a good day.